Hi, my name is Willie Farrell, and I'm a senior software engineer in the IBM Developer Skills team. This demo is the ninth in a nine-part series that supplements the Developer Works Live Briefing, Architecture, Design, and Construction using the IBM Rational Software Delivery Platform. In this series, you will see the demos that are performed as part of a live presentation of that briefing. In this demo, you will see the reverse transformation capabilities of the Rational Architecture tools that allow you to capture the design of a Java project back into a UML model. In the demo, I use Rational Software Architect. I need to point out that both Rational Software Modeler and Rational Systems Developer have the capability to perform reverse transformations. However, not all of the predefined reverse transformations that come with Rational Software Architect are available with Rational Software Modeler and Rational Systems Developer. Switch to the modeling perspective. Then scroll down in the Project Explorer to make the transformation configuration file created in an earlier demo visible. Double click the transformation configuration file to open it in an editor. The same transformation configuration file that we created to transform from UML to Java can be used to transform that same Java project back to UML. Select the Enable Reverse Transformation checkbox, and that's it. We can now do a reverse transformation. We'll save the file. From the main menu, select File, Save All. Now close the editor by clicking the X on the tab. To perform the reverse transformation, right-click the Transformation Configuration file, select Transform, Java to UML. Note that the Merge wizard is indicating that the merge is occurring as the result of a transformation. Because of this, the wizard automatically selects only the additions from the Java project to be merged into the UML project. Click OK. Now scroll down to make more of the elements in my model visible. Double click the main diagram to open it. Now let's take the new UML classes created from the reverse transformation and add them to the diagram. Use control click to select the three new classes. Then drag the classes onto the diagram. Let's get a better look. Double click the Diagram tab to expand it. And now you can see the classes that we added to the Java project have been reverse transformed back into UML classes in our UML model. Now let's tidy up. Right click on an empty part of the diagram and select Arrange All. Double click the Diagram tab to return it to its normal size. From the main menu, select File, Save All. This completes the reverse transformation demo. In this demo, you saw how the Rational Architecture tools can reverse transform Java code back into a UML model.